When he's not rushing for the Raiders, you might spot DeAndre Washington back home in Houston at one of his favorite places. I said, I've been coming to Papa Dole since I was yay high, so it's just kind of my go-to spot. I recently caught up with the running back and Marshall High School grad for a bite to eat in Stafford. So I got a little catfish. We got the shrimp Creole going, the dirty rice. And this right here is called a dirty dirty. The 26-year-old Missouri City native, now in his fourth NFL season, will tell you he's managed to stay grounded. Just having good people in your circle. You know what I'm saying? I got good people around me. DeAndre also opened up about a recent tragedy that changed his life. His sister, Taisha Watkins, was killed last year during a girl's trip to New Orleans. A beautiful lady. She was a, a, a bright a bright light in any room she stepped in. A gunman opened fire into a crowd near the French Quarter, hitting 10 people. His sister, who lived in Houston and had a young daughter, was one of three people killed. Today I could be reading a book, listen to a song, or, you know, I could hear something, and it'll just, you know, I would just, like, get chill bumps because it kind of just rem uh, reminiscent of, you know, things she used to do, how she, you know, how she used to move, how she, how she used to talk. He's now using his pain to push him toward a new purpose. He's partnered with the gun violence prevention group Everytown to encourage people to make smarter choices. A lot of times with a gun where gun violence is involved is petty situations where, you know, an alternative could have easily been used. So that's my biggest thing is just bringing awareness on it and making sure people are, uh, you know, educated before. You know, they made the decision to, uh, you know, to pull out their gun. This past season, he also wore special cleats to honor his sister's life. DeAndre, who was known for giving back through his free football camps, says the loss of his sister and the grind of playing pro football remind him to make the most of each day. Control what you can control. Make sure you leave them. Make sure you, you lay your head down at the end of the day that you, you can look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know, I, left, I, I did what I was supposed to do for these 24 hours and go to sleep and do it again.